Hey guys, Sam here. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of a recipe I use. Um, it's using shin of beef. It used to be a cheap cut of meat, but it's it's nearly one of the expen more more expensive cuts now. People are starting to use it. Uh, in here, we've got carrots and onions. And really, all you need after that is the shin of beef itself, uh, a hot frying pan. It will be when I put it back on the heat. Uh, a couple of oxo cubes and a big tin. Put it in salt and pepper. So we'll come back down to here. So, let's cut this piece up. I'm using four pieces of the shin of beef. Some of you guys who watch uh, River Cottage, Beyond River Cottage, will have seen Hugh do this for his uh, shooting party lunch that he did for Christmas. Even there he says a lot of chefs would then take this and start trimming the fat off. But as he does, I don't. Let's put this pan back on. Pick this up fresh this morning. My local um, farm shop. My mum kindly prepared the carrots for me while I was out getting this, so big thanks to her. And all the thanks I need for doing watching them eat it. Just wipe my hands off. Pan's coming up to heat. Spin you around. As you can see, just lift this up. Nice. As you can see, it's smoking. The trick is, is not to do too much at once. That's just a dry frying pan, guys. Let's see if I can zoom that in a bit. That's a, a dry frying pan, guys. All I'm doing is just sealing this meat off. In a pan. Keep the right juices in. Open the oven. Now this is going on about 150 guys. I'm not sure what that is in gas mark. <coughs> you can do this with venison as well. Uh, chicken, lamb, anything really. Rabbit is good. Done the same way, pheasant. Uh, I've even done the goose like this, guys. Bad duck. So 
what I'm going to do just while that's finishing off on that side. I'm going to fill the kettle back up for a cup of tea as well. So cubes, beef ones, whichever, or you know, lamb ones if you're having lamb, or just some vegetable stock ones will do. Or chicken stock if you're doing chicken, or pheasant, or anything like that. Put that in. Make it really big. On that, salt and pepper. Into there, and back on the heat. It warmed up again. Smoking. Two more pieces in. This is going to be winter warmer, guys. Sorry if this bit's sort of taking its time. What I'll do. We're on seven minutes now guys, what I'll do, I'll stop the video there, finish all this off and then I'll get back to you. Cheers guys. Alright guys, we're back again. <coughs> this is just the last little bit of meat to do. It's nearly done. I'll stick that in there. Turn that ring off. And Boring kettle boiling water. So in there you've got your carrots, onion, salt, pepper, two oxo cubes and your four pieces of <coughs> shin of beef. Diced up, browned off in a frying pan. That's a dry frying pan, no oil or anything in there. All you, what you want is just to, all you're doing is browning the, sealing the meat off. That's now going to go into an oven, preheated for a couple of minutes. 150, just over. So, leave that there for a minute, guys. I'll stick this in. That's going in without the lid on, guys for starters. In the oven. And that's going to sit in there for, uh, what time is it now? It is 5 past 1. That's going to be in there till at least 4, 5 o'clock long slow oven that's the key to this one guys long and slow so oh steady so yeah there we go guys um, I'll get back to this uh, a little bit later on once uh, it's you know thickened up or whatever into the in the oven so keep watching uh, it will come steady um, cheers guys hey guys uh, just a quick uh, update on this it's been in the oven now for about two hours now it's nearly five past three so I'm just gonna grab it out of the oven and we'll have a look <coughs> and uh, see how we're doing I'll just tilt this this down. Uh, guys. 
Second guys, that's it. There we go, we're up guys, it's two hours and it's just starting to it's gone gone hard, but oh, but it's not hard. Give it a good stare, and oh, we're going to uh, looking good, guys. What we're going to do is add just a amount of water. Look like that, I think it's cold water, guys. So a pound of water to it. Start a bit more liquid. And we're going to stick the lid on to finish off. So there's that, guys. On with the lid. And back in the oven. So that's that, guys. Um, stay tuned and we'll get back to this a little bit later on. Cheers guys. There you go guys, this is the last part. This is the finished product. And sleep with mash, peas, Yorkshire puddings. Cheers guys.